Howdy ho, good neighbor. This is your captain speaking. And today, we're taking off from runway 25 on the Alameda Naval Base. And today we're taking a look at the Alameda Naval Base entrance and its new residence. All these cars you see are not day campers. These are residents of the Alameda Naval Base. And residents are coming by the week to live here. This is a situation that if you live in California, you know way too real that people are being evicted because of their job loss and other issues in the world. It's hard to just pinpoint what makes people become in this dire situation. I know for a fact that I have some viewers that have been stationed here at the Alameda Naval Base. And you know right where this point is. This ship has been here for years. A ship, pardon me, old plane, that jet. So this would be the Port of Oakland entrance. And you can see a lot of people drive by this new encampment because there's still a lot of activity out here on the base. There's wine tasting and kids soccer games and breweries and city hall. So a lot of people have to drive by basically these people's homes. I don't know how to say it but it is not anything I like to film, but I do need to bring awareness to this problem and it's growing fast. Some of these videos are harder to watch than others. This one isn't that bad because you don't really see the people. They stay in their cars for the most part. You can see them down there, but this box truck, I see a lot of these people that they're very incognito in a box truck. But this situation well, you cannot be incognito living like this. It starts with a tent, and then a chair, and then another piece of furniture, and all of a sudden you have this. These guys have some kind of nice setup. I think they probably watch out for one another. And if you ask me, they have one of the best places and best views of all of the bay. This person has a nice RV and a tent. So all these people have jobs, it seems, because they have cars. That has two sports cars. But that box truck, yeah, that's pretty ingenious. A whole living quarters incognito with solar panels. That might be the wave of the future. But this setup right here 
I think is called mental disorder because it really is a mental disorder to live this way. Other people, well, they have some kind of order, but that is disorder. As you can tell that if you lose your home, you have to put all your stuff in storage and find a place to live. And that place is usually your car. Think about it. It's safe. It locks, hopefully. But the only thing is you're vulnerable. All your valuables are in one spot. But like I was saying earlier, as you drive into this entrance, you have to pass that homeless community. And you can see yonder that there are kids' soccer games that they play right here in the field. So there's a lot of families that have to pass that community and will continue to pass that community because it is just growing. But it's something we get used to here in California. And that's kind of hard to do when you live in those conditions. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you for coming along with me on these homeless adventures. I don't like it any more than you do. But it's just the way of the world. The rich get rich and there is a war on the poor. Well as always again Thank you for coming along with me on these little adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.